you guys, Plunder Everything here, and today we are going to be going over how to import and um, and edit uh, Fusion 360 videos in Final Cut Pro. <laughs> So I figured this was a really big issue because when I was working on this, uh, uh, there was no material out there on how to fix this because everybody seems to be using um, Adobe and stuff like that for using these Fusion 360 videos. And I'm like, I'm using uh, Final Cut Pro. So I decided to make a tutorial on how to do this after I got a little bit better. So, I'm going to hop over on my computer and we can get this video started. So pretty much what we need to do here is, um, the first thing we need to do, if you haven't already done this, is go to the GoPro website and download Fusion Studio. My cursor is currently over it right now. And download that app and it's a, it's a pretty major step in this. So download that app and this app will also bring you a bunch of plugins for Final Cut Pro. Uh, or not for Final Cut Pro, for Adobe Premiere, uh, because that that's what this app is, that's what this is all optimized for. Uh, but I'm going to teach you how to optimize it for other things. Also, that software, those plugins are not um, they are not interlinked, so you can't put those plugins into Final Cut Pro if you thought you could. I'm sorry, it's a big bummer. Uh, but then the next step is the next step is to connect your Fusion 360 uh, into your computer. And uh, by doing that, you should be able to uh, you should be able to unlock it if you have it turned on. Once you have it, you, you have to have it turned on though, so that your computer can access the files. Uh, if it's not, it's just going to be charging on your computer, and there's really uh, no benefit into plugging it into your computer. Uh, first step is go on, click Browse Camera. If your camera is turned on and plugged in, it will be able to do this, and it should take probably a minute or two to finally do this and once it does uh, so many so many of the times when you import footage from your GoPro Fusion 360 there will be some clips that just couldn't be fixed they couldn't uh, they couldn't finish doing their thing or, or something went wrong in the uh, in the process of making them so I'm gonna get this this video it's a second long uh, it'll be super easy to render but it's uh, very important what to do. So make sure it, you know, you've know you got this all set up to whatever you want. Uh, for Final Cut Pro editors, you want to select editing. You could select whatever resolution you want. 5.2K is going to be the best because in reality that's like 2.6K 2. 2. in reality uh, because you've got two different sides uh, of your camera. And 360 audio, you know, do whatever you want. Uh, Add to render queue. Now, once you have it added to render queue, you gotta click on it and change it to ProRes 422 or H.264. Either one works. But ProRes 422 is an Apple uh, Apple made uh, format, so you need to have that selected so that it can go into Final Cut Pro and QuickTime and all those important things that you really need it to do. And then you can click Render All. Now, once you've done this, it will go to a folder in your in your actual um, in your in your computer, and that folder is called Render. And you can find all of these awesome clips here uh, in order to you know mess with them and, and fix it up and and uh, put them into Final Cut Pro. So then, what you're gonna want to do? I'm gonna open a different library because this one's completely junked. Uh, or actually, no. Uh, you're gonna create, you know, your new project, everything like that. Uh, if you want it to be in 360, that's fine. But if you want it to just use, if you wanted to upload it in 360, that's like your own thing. You can do that. But uh, if you wanted to uh, export it and put it onto YouTube as a normal video, but you're using the 360 camera to be able to stabilize and get cooler shots or like different angles, um, then click on 4K and whatever is fine for that. Um, and then go ahead, rendering ProRes. See, that's that's Apple ProRes 422. Uh, that's the same thing we exported it in. And 
by doing that, you will make your lone little thing here. Blah, 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 blah. All right. And we can find our 360 footage somewhere, maybe. Uh, I'll just drag some 360 footage in here. Hopefully, it's not too big, the one I pick. Let's see. Uh, which one can I pick? Uh, let's pick the really small one, the one that's three point, you know, 3.5 megabytes. That's pretty small. Uh, let's throw that in here. And you'll see 3.5 megabytes. Uh, that's not that's not extremely small, and it's already uh, two seconds uh, for three. Uh, okay, so if you have your Final Cut Pro completely updated and everything, you'll have it so that you have this little orientation thing here. Uh, once you've got that, you can click keyframe on each one of these and go throughout the clip and uh, move it around at each point you want so that you go a little bit forward and you can move it around so yeah that's that's how that's how it looks uh, and that's how you can keyframe it and stuff like that but uh, a lot of times I'm sure you will want to uh, do some weird cool stuff with the fact that it's got 360 footage you might want to do like a little planet effect and in order to do that you have to turn on uh, no projection mode so that you have your raw footage over here under the eye icon at the top right hand corner of your screen uh, and then you have to go and if you want the same experience as the GoPro effects will give you if you would have it in Premiere Pro you actually have to buy a $40 pack from FX Factory and it's called uh, it's called Revolve 360. Now this is, $40 is expensive, but it is a really cool kind of thing to have. Um, or or you can try doing fish eye, back to back fish eye. I've never actually tried this before. What is this gonna look like? Uh, you know, all right, so if you got that, um, you can download it and then, uh, uh, let me try to find that thing, FX Factory. Revolve 360, Revolve 360, Revolve 360. Uh, hold on. Revolve. Where is it? Right. Oh, I'm in transitions. Oops. Revolve. Oh. All right. So then you can just drag this on as long as you have that no projection mode on and you can kind of mess around with this uh, make the little planet effect make it kind of zoom into a normal type of thing you know messing around with this playing with the keyframes uh, it's kind of nice also because you can keyframe your tilt roll pan and fisheye axis all of these things can be keyframed uh, meaning you can change them within the video without having to make cuts and it can be nice and smooth uh, the way it is uh, so that's that's kind of the extent of what I'm gonna show you here But yeah, that's pretty much it for this video um, I hope you learned something because I it took me a really long time to understand how to edit with this fusion 360 footage because it's not like it's not like the uh, Key mission or other 360 cameras you have because it's got this GoPro tint to it You know, they've got they've got all, they've they've like shown you all these cool things you can do with it and um all these like different angles like angel mode and all that stuff and you gotta really depict what it actually is in real life like angel mode is just a little planet um, they call it angel mode because it looks like somebody's following behind you with the camera but it, it's like little planet just tilted at a person so that you've got all of that angle separated and looking at one point if that makes any sense uh, but yeah that's pretty much it for this video if you liked it please give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and also please share it with your friends because you know sharing is caring